All right, gamers. Here we are. The end of the road. Let's go. There she is! Marie Chan! Why? Why do you come? Why? I told you I'm your enemy. That you don't need to bother with me. Why did you come this far? I see. You're still searching for the truth, aren't you? Sorry, I forgot. But I'm tired. I... I just want to end it all. Shut up, you know what that means! You think we're just gonna lie down and let you do that? Marie-san, please listen. Even if you are one of those creatures, that's still no reason for you to end your own life. The two Sagiri have been defeated. That means you're... Free? Is that what you think? That's not true. I'm not like you. I don't have freedom. You got a forehead for days, though. What do you mean? I told you already. If I don't die, then your world will disappear. Our role was more than to simply find out the wishes of man. Our true role is to control the fog and bring that wish to fruition. Control the fog? Don't you think it's strange that the fog never went away? That it lasted for months? The Sagiri created the fog. And I absorbed it. The fog that changes people to shadows. Wait, then the reason the fog cleared was... That's right. When Amino Sagiri was defeated, the fog covering your town was no longer needed. Then I heard a voice. The fog isn't gone. Even now, it's raging inside me. No way. So the fog isn't gone after all that? It's just in you now? When my mind is completely overpowered by the fog, I will disappear. Taking the fog and the hollow forest with me. I am... A being destined for non-existence. That's the memory that came back to me. The world will be saved. So that's the reason you hid. Yes. Now we know the true reason why she hid herself in the hollow forest. Of course, I cannot agree with the conclusion she's drawing. Hell no! She's saying that we can only have world peace in exchange for her life? Screw that! That's why. That's why I left. Because there's no point in seeing you. We'll just hurt each other. It's okay. It's all okay. I've already made enough memories of my own. Fun. Happy memories. If you're not gonna leave now, then I'll have to make you leave by force. Please. Just understand. 
damn it! Why did it end up like this? What are we gonna do, partner? We have to stop her. Okay! We're saving her! If we give up here, then why the hell did we even bother coming all this way? Yeah, we're not gonna let anyone else suffer from that fog. We have to do it. Let's go. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. I don't want you to suffer anymore. Why don't you understand? Senpai, we can't lose here. The peace we've earned shouldn't come at the cost of anyone's life. We cleared the world of the fog, and now we're getting rid of it for good. We cannot back down here. We must get her to listen to us. This is our problem, too. We can't let Marie-chan be the only one to bear all of this herself. Here goes. This is for your own good. That's it now! Marie's eyes are sad. All right. Hmm. Down and dizzy. My revenge for that. Physical damage. Ugh. I wish I would took magic. Oh, yours. eyes are sad. Yes, that's both types. Persona. looks bewildered. Throw down! 
Marie's will to fight is ebbing. Huh! How's that, you punk? Now are you gonna listen to us? Why? Why? It doesn't matter what happens to me. You're stupid. Hurting yourselves like that. If my death keeps you from being happy, what am I dying for? Don't say you're going to die! Don't worry, it'll be okay. I used to be just a shadow too. But even I could change. Emi-chan, you have to believe. Believe in the me that believes in you. What good comes of belief? You save me, and your world is gonna disappear. Is that what you want? That's what it means when you tell me you want me to live. I look so stupid. Afraid of living off borrowed life. Afraid to disappear. Thinking that Maybe I could remember something, and then I'd have a life worth living. It's funny. I remember now. I already have a role. And it's to disappear. I shouldn't have ever remembered. It would have been better if I'd never remembered. Marie-chan. What's wrong? That's right. There is no need for the truth. Ignorance is bliss. There will be no pain if you never try to find out. That voice! That's not Marie-chan! Is that what she meant by her mind being overpowered? Hey! Snap out of it! Uh, don't come near me! Go home! Please, just go home! You know full well we can't do that. All you losers! You just don't know when to quit! I never should have met any of you. Especially you! I hate you! Hate me all you want. Yeah, what he said. You really aren't true to yourself, are you? You need to work on your acting skills. <laughs> Stop lying to me! It's not a lie. Everything in this world is the product of someone's mind. This place is yours. This tomb and the flowers all over it. Your resolve to die is what created this scenery. <gasps> However, on the way here we saw things that don't fit a grave. Juness and Sozai Daigaku signs, the bench on the hill, the electric poles, mirrors, school desks. It's all from the town, the home of the people you say you hate so much. What, you want us to bury you with all that stuff? If you like them that much, why don't you come see for yourself, huh? <sighs> I can't. I have to die. There is another way. Another way? Yeah, he's right. There has to be. You don't have to go away forever. The only thing that needs to go is your fog. Think of something. It's impossible. There's no way. If we waste any more time, the fog will take me over and be set free. If that happens, I won't be able to take my own life. I'll become a monster. And if we defeat that? Are you saying we should wait for Marie-chan to be controlled by the fog and then defeat her? Senpai, wait! I mean, it's still her body, right? If we fight the monster... Yeah. Uh, so what'll happen? <laughs> I... I 
don't know. But... Maybe right now. Y you might be able to. I'll put my mind to sleep before the fog overpowers it. Of course, the fog will then take over my body, but my mind will still be safe beneath it. The rest comes down to luck, I guess. Which will give out first? The fog? Or my life? That's one hell of a gamble. What are we gonna do? I'd rather not have to do that. But if there's no other way, then we'll just have to have faith that it'll work. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be better than just sitting here and watching her die. She's not gonna die! We won't let her! This is our friend's life on the line! We can't fail now! Friends. Rest up. Okay. I trust in you all. Even if I do die, it would be a better way than letting the current situation continue. But, please, don't any of you die. It's coming! Get ready, everyone! Will this really work? Emi-chan won't die if we fight her? Marie-chan believed in us. We have to believe in her. Right. Let's do it. Oh, right. Right. Oh, yeah. What good is it to learn the truth? You want me to throw away my worthless self-satisfaction in exchange for eternal suffering and despair? I don't need it. I don't need any of it. What's wrong with turning a blind eye to suffering? I don't want a truth full of pain. I want a peaceful lie. What is this feeling? It's like she's not even seeing us. Suffering, denial, and rejection. She's denying everything. Be careful, Senpai. Normal tactics may not work. Marie-chan, we'll save you! <laughs> All right. I don't want to see you. <laughs> hmm. Normal tactics. It's a strong one. Don't lower your guard. Okay. That's what I thought. What about... Okay. Hmm. Persona! There! Marie's ego is struggling for control. Actually, I think Yukiko is probably the one with the strongest, but we'll keep going like this. Soda. 
We don't really have any choice. Okay. What are we getting this time? Charged up and focused. Hit him with it. Electric affinity reverted. It's over. We should be fine. Marie's body is breaking. Why don't you get it? The truth doesn't help anything. You're all hypocrites. Peace and tranquility lie in the fog. Senpai, don't listen to her. That's not the real Marie-chan talking. Hmm. down. She'll get you if you do. All right. Mind charge. Soda. Heat riser. All yours. Soda. 
Did we do it? God, I hope so. Screaming just to not feel left out. How is she, Senpai? Is she okay? <sighs> Marie isn't moving. No way. This can't be real. No, this can't be. We. <sighs> oh. Emmy Chan. Come on. You're such a sleepyhead. It's time to wake up, okay? Emmy Chan? No! This isn't happening! What did we do wrong? Emmy Chan, wake up! Don't die! <laughs> <laughs> Marie Chun? Thank goodness she's alive. Jesus oh. fucking Christ. I That's right. You sleep too much. Everyone gets to sleep once in a while, right? Thank you. Uh <laughs> you think that's long enough for a moving hug? Shouldn't you let go now? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm tired of moving. Enough with getting up. Good thing there's someone even I can hug. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Here we go again. Why is it all our friends are like this? You know, there aren't a lot of people who can really mess with Risei-chan. Oh, shit. We should probably get out of here. Did you feel the Earth move? Or was that just me watching these two? This isn't the time for stupid comments! What's going on?! Don't tell me! Is this like in the movies where once the bad guys defeated his evil fortress self-destructs? Uh... Yeah. I, I think that's exactly what's going on. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. I don't need to be in this place to die anymore, so it's gonna disappear. Why the hell didn't you say that sooner? It's gonna take us with it! We're gonna die! We're all gonna die! Just Can we trip the Teddy Hurry. on the way out? I forgot how tiny the TV here is. I feel like this has happened before. Are these really your friends? They're all so weird. <laughs> it's your fault to begin with. The TV? Jeez. That was never a television. The hollow forest has vanished. Because there's no more reason for it to exist. How does it feel to have your fate changed? Well, it feels weird. Fuck you mean that wasn't a television. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That's why we went all the way there and everything. Um, thank you for saving me. And I'm sorry. W what? Why are you looking at me like that? You... You just said sorry, didn't you? She did. Very politely. Huh? Uh, it's just that you never seemed like the type who would say that. Yeah. Huh? You... You stupid jerk! Fine then! F forget it! I take it back! Oh well... 
Good things never last. Listen to me! What the hell? What is with you people? You risk yourselves to save me? You don't get anything out of it. I don't understand you. I guess you could say that's what friendship is. Really? To be honest, we were hesitant at first. Learning that you were from the other side was kind of confusing. But to not save you just because of that? Oh, that's not how we roll. If we blamed things on someone else and looked the other way, nothing would change. You were in trouble and we saved you. That's all that counts. I don't understand you at all. If not knowing us bothers you, then you should start getting to know us. All of us want you to learn more about this world. Yeah, like Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. Valentine? Ah, oh, so you don't know what that is either. Huh. It's an awesome day when a girl gives chocolate to someone she holds dear. I thought it... Um... I, yeah, okay. Oh, and I already reserved Senpai. Whatever, no cheating. Reservation canceled. No cheating. Why, you... That was quick. Well, let him get to it. Hey, it's clear outside! Wait, really? You're right, I need to do all the laundry. <laughs> My back is killing me. Hey, how about we get some grub? Sounds good! On you, of course! Yeah, Mr. Salary Man over here. Uh, stop expecting me to buy you lunch all the time! Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Achievement unlocked. Welcome back. Hmm. What's up? Well, when I gave my body up to the fog, I thought I heard a voice. Um, what did it say? Humans don't want to know the truth. What they truly desire is a peaceful world filled with fog. Something like that, anyway. Whose voice do you think it was? I don't know. But it was familiar. The same voice I heard when you defeated Amino Sagiri and the fog flowed into me. Hmm. Wait. Maybe not. I felt like it was my voice. Maybe it's something I said long ago? Oh well. The fog is gone. I probably just misheard it. <laughs> oh, who the fuck? <laughs> Scared you, huh? God damn it, Yosuke. The weather's nice, there's snow all over. What more do we need? Oh yeah. You ever been in a snowball fight, Marichan? Hmm. Hey, how are we gonna split the teams? Food. We need food, Yosuke. We've been in there for hours. Okay. Oh, what the? Hey! hey! <laughs> I'm supposed to throw snow at him. Isn't that right? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I will bury him. Hold on. You have the eyes of a predator. The teams will be women versus men. Now begin. Oh, come on! Kanji, Teddy, what the hell, guys? Take this! Get him, Marie-chan! <laughs> <laughs> going after me! <laughs> you enjoy the snowball fight. Later that day. Well, I do feel a 
bit sorry for them. <laughs> <laughs> Still, today's hero's gotta be Marie-chan. You go, Snowball Queen! <laughs> That's the wrong gender. It's heroine, not hero. Got him. Whoa! Your skin is so pretty! Your complexion is amazing! <laughs> Yo, can you see anything? <laughs> covering all the good stuff. Oh, hey, Kanji, up, up! Don't let me down now! <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. And then they all died. The end. Shadow of the <laughs> So you're home. You escorted Marie back to the Velvet Room and returned home. Ah, <sighs> wow. Let's go get some bugs! <laughs> You came to the garden to see if you could find any bugs. Eat up a jewel beetle! Information. Have you seen what's been going on in the pools category? No! Okay, so I talked about this at the beginning of the stream. What What is going on in the pools category? Is Are people, like, being memers? Someone is streaming fucking Lord of the Rings. I saw... Well, who was it? It was... Oh, there was... It, was it like IGN? No, 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 no. It was... PC Gamer was streaming fucking... <laughs> Geralt in the bathtub. <laughs> Someone put... Yeah, it's fucking great. There's just a stream called Repent. Mr. Bones. Oh, wow. They're actually streaming all of Lord of the Rings. Fellowship of the Pool 4K Extended Edition. Oh, my God. Browse. Filter by categories. How high up is... Oh my god. 52,000 viewers. These people aren't even in a hot tub. These are VTubers. This guy... This guy's a wig on. In a hot tub. You love to see it. That's a character in a cauldron. Hold on, do you think if I green screen myself in, like, a bath, I'll get more more viewers? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Rumia <laughs> Orange Justice. help fund my hot tub. Jesus fucking Christ. There's so many VTubers and like fucking like 3D waifu streamers. There's people <laughs> with like tits pasted on them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy's playing Minecraft. He knows what's good. There's a stream, actual state of Twitch, 18 plus, hot tub, 
exclamation point lingerie bikini pole dance exclamation point p hub exclamation point o fans squats for subs name on board body pickle eggplant hot dog <laughs> Cold tub, 24-7. Jesus Christ. This is actually ridiculous. But yeah, shoutouts to Twitch for making the site softcore porn. Or at least putting the softcore porn into its sec its separate category, like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now get rid of it. Smile. All right. God. You're tired from entering the TV. Yeah, that's what I figured. Let's save. February 14th. Today is Valentine's Day. You received two text messages. XOXOXO Senpai XOXOXO. You know what day it is. Keep your afternoon open. Well, we know who the other text message is. So the question is, do we spend time with Rise or do we spend time with Ayane? I think I know what I want to do. Senpai, you don't have any cavities, do you? I want to see you today. Can we walk home together? It's important. Black Pass. Yo! Yo, Kamen. What's up? Things were tough yesterday. I never thought I'd get zapped by lightning in real life. Thanks to that shock or whatever, I totally forgot what today was. It's February 14th, you know. I didn't have much time to prepare myself for this, so I've been nervous all morning. Oh, is Yoshi gonna give us a Valentine's Day gift? Ugh, someone help me do something about all this pressure. Believe in yourself. <laughs> I used to, back when I lived in the city. But it's been nothing but betrayal ever since. Oh man, if I end up just getting friend chocolates, and those only from Teddy, <laughs> I'll never live it down. Happens to the best of us. Hey everyone, they posted the test results. Uh, the awful moment of truth. Oh well, wanna check it out? You decided to check the test results. I was only unsure about one of these, so... You got the highest score. Whoa, you're a genius, Common. That's awesome. I'd be happy to highest grade myself. Social link with friends... Lunch break is almost over. You decided to return to class. Nice. After school. More male students have stayed after school than usual. Unlucky. Well, what should I do now? I'm going to hang out here for a bit longer, but I don't know what to do. I don't feel like there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it. 
I'll go up to the roof or something. I'm, I'm going to be behind the school building. You know, just because. Just because. Most of the girls are already gone. Yeah. Hey, man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. They want candy so much, why don't they just buy some themselves? <laughs> are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? Man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. Really? I didn't bring you any. I'm not that pathetic. Come on, man. <laughs> I can get quite a lot from part-time workers at Juness. Yosuke. Are you okay? <laughs> the important thing is that I have any at all. All right. Sure. Right, Chie-san? Yukiko-san? I see you've got some big bags with you today. Yosuke, you just made it a lot worse if they don't actually have any for you. You realize that, right? <laughs> wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. Yeah, I do have some. Right, Yukiko? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. I like candy. What makes you think it's going to you? It might be for me. Don't be so desperate. And I brought some too. Oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing. Here you go, Chie Senpai, for always being so hardworking. Of course. Rise, the actual god, bringing chocolate for everybody. Why me? Because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Wow, putting a new spin on things. She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. Risa hands out chocolate to each person. But there doesn't seem to be any left for you. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, what about him? What about me? I'll give him his chocolate later. I've got some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll call you soon. Does that mean... I feel like everyone's super curious about who I'm going to hand my special chocolate to. If I do it now, it'll be embarrassing. Hmm. So, see you later. Risei gives you a meaningful look. You must go see Risei later. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye! Wow, her ability to avoid personal drama is impressive. Oh, Natokun! Hey. What are you all doing together? What's that supposed to mean? Today's a huge deal. Ah, uh, I see. Well, if you'll excuse me. Huh? She never breaks a sweat. Oh, well, Kanji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? I totally feel like we missed the train here. Attention, everyone! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. And go home. Well, I I've got to go back to the inn and help out. Good luck, Chie. Uh... <laughs> Yukiko? Man, Yukiko's being even bossier than normal. Uh, yeah, what was that all about? I'm going to go make sure she's okay. Oh, this is chocolate for everyone in it. Take yours and go home. And go home. They don't... What the hell? Talk about being brushed they off. They don't want to be seen giving chocolate to them. Well, you don't want yours? I'll take it. God, you moron. Of course I want it. You must go to see the people you want to talk to.
First floor classroom. You came to see Risei. For a moment, I was thinking that maybe you wouldn't even come. <laughs> Risei seems to be smiling, as usual. Here, this is yours. It's special, just for you. Risei gives you a chocolate gift. A special chocolate gift. Well, now where are you going? Who are you going to see? It's a girl, isn't it? <sighs> what do you think that? Ugh, that was mean. I didn't want to say that. But you're the one who's making me turn so mean. I'm your girlfriend, and I can't even go on a date with you on Valentine's Day. I guess that if whatever it is is a big deal to you, I can't complain. But I'm not just going to take it lying down. See, this is exactly why I didn't want to have multiple fucking romantic part. God damn it. This isn't fun and games. I'm serious about you. I hate this. I always feel like a mess when it comes to dealing with you. Sorry, I don't want to trouble you. I'm sorry. An awkward silence fills the air. However, you've already declined Risei's offer. Risei looks like she's about to cry as you say goodbye to leave her and leave the classroom. You came to the shore with Ayane. The cool breeze feels nice. The sound of the waves is like music. It softly works its way into the bottom of my heart. It's nostalgic and gentle. I want to make music like this one day. Oh, I'm sorry, Senpai. It's just I haven't been to the beach in forever. I didn't think I could come to a place so special with you. And on such a special day. Are you sure you wanted me to be here? Of course. Thank you. When I got that text from you this morning, I read it and reread it over and over. <laughs> I couldn't concentrate on my classes, and I tripped in the hallway. I couldn't even eat lunch. I'm... I'm getting nervous. Anyways, so... Uh, uh, here! Ayane's chocolate is wrapped neatly. Usually, my mom helps me make my Valentine chocolate. But this year, I wanted to make it all by myself. Every other year, we'd eat it as we were making it, so we'd have next to nothing left at the end. But this year, I made it only for you. Please, take this! The wrapping might be a bit moist since I've been holding it for so long, but the chocolate should be okay. <laughs> moist. The chocolates from Ayane are in small pieces and in an adorable pattern. The soft sweetness spreads in your mouth. You ate the chocolate with Ayane. It's all gone. And I was so scared you wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I had prepared what? myself to not be sad if that had happened. So I'm very happy. That's strange. Senpai, thank you. Thank you. No, I'm happier, so I want to thank you so much more. No, I'm happy. <laughs> Fuck you. I still can't believe that you're my boyfriend. I don't have any confidence. I'm sure there must be tons of girls who are better than me. But even then, you chose me. So I'm going to believe in you. Believe in the me that believes in you. I'm not going to doubt myself or compare myself to others. I'll just love you. My love will be purer and greater than any love anyone else could ever give you. Damn. Senpai, I love you.
I know. <laughs> no, I love you more. No, me. More than you think, and more than you love yourself. Damn. Don't underestimate me. The only sound you hear is the crashing of the waves. It's so wonderful to be able to tell the one you love that you love them. I'm so happy I could cry. So, so happy. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Senpai, can I hold you? No. <laughs> You can smell the sweet aroma of chocolate. You spent a long time with Ayane. Dojima residence. Front door. Oh. You okay? You're late. What are you doing here? Waiting for you? You cold? Today, I can't have the nose or Margaret in the way. Don't worry, I got permission. Oh. I have chocolate. It's shaking on its own? You can have it. What the fuck? It smells. More importantly, it's moving. That room doesn't have any eclectic Lautwitz. I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. Huh? Sorry. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. You're, you're too straightforward. I, I hate you, stupid. That's why you're so popular. <laughs> you can eat it. Can I? In a hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. W w uh. You have a feeling of danger, but you've already accepted her gift. When you eat it, um, I want you to tell me whether it was good or not. Now. You seem to have no choice but to eat it. All right. Huh? Despite the now the smell, it tastes quite normal. No, this is you can't stop eating it. You ate it all? That's incredible. Are you stupid? <laughs> well, it, it makes my work worth it. You have the unsettling feeling that something is moving within your stomach. Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual, huh? I looked it up. Oh, really? What did you learn? I thought it was some big event. You know, a turning point of your life. I'm so lame. I was fooled. I feel stupid. Ugh. But it's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. No, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, well, I am serious, but... <laughs> and, and, and you can just shut your stupid jerk face! <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm telling the truth! Look, just close your eyes. Shut up and close them! Thank you. Well, I don't really get it, but I won't forget about you. Ever. You spent some time with Marie. Dojima residence. Living room. It seems Dojima is away on business and can't come home. Do you know what day it is today? What day is it, Nanako? It's Valentine's Day! 
I guess there are some things even you don't know. This is my favorite chocolate. Nanako gives you some chocolate that is very popular with children. Thank you. It's sweet and yummy. Today, my teacher said, Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out chocolate. It's a day to say thank you to the people you care about. It's very true. Teacher gave us all chocolate. Everybody, even me. And when she gave it to me, she said, It's been tough for you, but you've done very well. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. That's why I said thank you back. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me. And that's why I can be happy again. Well, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> really? And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Yes. I know I do. Me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. One more chocolate. I made it myself. What the fuck? A strange object sits on the plate. By some miracle, it has no smell at all. The big girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. What the fuck is this? That's why I made one for you. Just who taught her how to cook? Your instincts, honed after a year of battle, are ringing warning bells in your mind. Chie said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. Oh no, you took advice from them? Oh, and bacon, since everyone likes bacon. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. Risei Chan said that the chocolate should assert itself. So it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. Oh no. You're a grown-up, big bro. So I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive. So I added vinegar and ponzu sauce too. Nanako, we need to talk. I don't think you should hang out with those girls anymore. Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. What the fuck are these girls teaching her? So I added some fish sausage and some of dad's fermented squid. Oh no. <laughs> and Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. Oh, God, no. I thought Naoto would be our saving grace here. Nanako looks at you expectantly. Um, big bro, thank you. I love you. It looks like it has a face. You have no options. It's... <laughs> big bro? What's wrong, big bro? <laughs> you can hear Nanako's voice from far away. <laughs> After getting some rest, you've managed to recover your health. A soft light is pouring in from outside. You should hurry to school.
Good What's morning. Up? The weather's great today. It's even a little warm, don't you think? Mm. I saw in the news that the first official spring storm was observed this morning. Spring is just around the corner, huh? Mm. Spring, huh? Everything went by so fast. What's up? Hey, everybody, what's going on? Mm. Oh, nothing. We're just talking about how spring's almost here. Then Common will. Mm. Oh, yeah. Try not to think about it. But hey, we still have some time, right? No gloomy faces until then. Let's have fun. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pack your brain so full of good memories that you'll beg us to stop. Oh, shoot. Well, let's go. What? Hey, wait for me. You finish packing. We will be returning to the city in two days. You decide to rest for today. Spring has once again come to Inaba. Dojima Residence. Tomorrow is finally the day you will part with everyone. All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Thanks. Can I go answer the door? Oh yeah, that's right. Sure. Go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Hmm. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. This is the last day you'll be spending in this town. You should wander around for a while. Are you going out? Be careful! Will do. What did she have in her hand?
is great at your Jonas. We just had to hear it one more time. Hey. Wow, Common Coon. Caught me off guard. Um, I was just thinking of you. And suddenly you showed up, so... She is laughing, embarrassed. Tomorrow's the day, huh? I thought a lot about you, and I decided to come here. I was thinking, what can I do for you? And I figured crying or feeling sad about you leaving wasn't it. So I made up my mind. I'm going to show you what you've taught me. I bought a book. It's called How to Become a Police Officer. I told you I wanted to become strong so I could protect what matters most to me, right? Well, I want to protect this town. We all worked hard to win this piece. I want to keep it this way. You can't be certain that no incident like this will ever happen again, right? This is where all my best friends are. It's where I met you. So I thought maybe I'd become a cop and have Dojima-san put me through the ringer. Chie is smiling cheerfully. So go home proud. We'll be fine here. Come back any time. We'll all be waiting for you. You feel a tight bond with Chie. You still have to say goodbye to everyone else, right? Go ahead. Go. Chie is smiling sadly. There are others you form true bonds with. You should go say goodbye to them. Hey. Oh, hello. You have come. Yeah. I was waiting for you. I wanted to see you before you left. Though parting words aren't what I have for you. Remember? The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. Do you know what action will shake both of our hearts? Oh, are you going to give me a goodbye kiss? <laughs> For us residents, I'm sure this is a sin. Now, close your eyes. Why, you ask? So that you don't witness my sinfulness. Mm. Okay. You feel a solid bond between you and Margaret. Wow. Actually wasn't expecting that. Why did that. I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. <laughs> Will I ever see you again, I wonder? Well then, farewell. I... Wow. Fucking Chad Narukami. Oh, Senpai. Where are you going? Came to see you. Senpai, no. That's like you came to say goodbye. I'm not planning on letting this be the last time we meet. It does make me sad, though. I told you before, right? I'm returning to showbiz, starting spring. I went to voice training today to prepare myself for that. You see, I'm re-debuting myself with a new album. I'm writing all the lyrics myself. Well, I got a D in composition, so they aren't exactly masterpieces. But you know, a lot of stuff's happened while I was on break. I made friends, dear friends. Everyone was so nice to me. I want to express that to everyone who will listen. My deepest feelings in my own words. Ah, I'm scared. I'm scared of putting the real me out there for people to see. But I can't give in to that fear, right? I worked hard. Or I'll work hard. For all my fans out there. I'm gonna make a huge comeback. So wish me luck. 
Of course. I know that you'll be watching me from the other side of the camera. I'll keep thinking that way as I work. I look back at Juness now, and I feel all those good memories of us. Maybe I'll offer to appear in a commercial for Juness. Then you'll all remember the times we had, every time you see it. But then, we'll all feel a bit lonely afterwards, huh? Senpai, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll say goodbye, and I won't cry. <sighs> I'm so glad that fog's gone. I mean, it's still foggy over in the other worlds, but it's a clear blue sky over here. Well, uh, we can see you off on a happy note. Well, see you later. Whom's the fuck is you? Oh, it's been a while, huh? So, have I told you this? I've been taking walks with that Egyptian woman. She seems to know a lot, and just by uh, being with her makes me happy somehow. It isn't very exciting, but it's not bad. Talking to her makes me like this town even more. I come to the country to escape, but maybe I can't really came to rediscover myself. Yeah, maybe. Now? I'm waiting for him. Lately, we've been playing a lot. It's fun because I'm not alone. For who? What? I know how to ride a bus. Enter at the front, then pay. Or do you get on at the back? What bus am I supposed to be riding? <laughs> It's not the hospital one, or the hot springs one. Mom said a bunch of buses come through here. <laughs> hey. You're leaving, aren't you? Leaving me behind. Stupid liar blockhead. I didn't even want you to save me. And you did. Now you're doing this? I'm going to be lonely. Me too. That's not fair, you saying that. You really are a playboy. Hey. I went out and got something to eat by myself. Those steak thingies. Skewers, whatever they're called. I can... I can walk around town. Even without your help. The bond between us has connected me to this world. It's kind of lonely, but... I'm going to explore the town without you. I'm not scared anymore. If I don't take any steps forward, I won't learn anything. I'm going to find out more and more about this outside world. And next time you come... I'll be showing you around. Marie is acting proud. You're going to say goodbye to everyone else, right? You're always like that. I'll see you again. Thank you. Hey, Kanji. Whoa, Senpai! What are you doing here? Kanji seems to be panicking for some reason. Yeah, of course. Oh, hello, Common. I heard you're leaving tomorrow. You know, Kanji's been acting all sad and lonely lately. Shut up, you old bat! Told you not to speak to me that way. Anyway, have you told him about the handicraft class? Thank you for being such a role model for my son, Common. Come visit here sometime, alright? Goodbye now. Uh, you didn't hear what she said, did you? Handicraft class? Uh... See, a bunch of customers liked those knitted dolls we sold, and they asked me how to make them. So, I'm gonna hold classes on how to do it. <laughs> Laugh it up, why don't you?
No. Senpai. It was my decision, though. If people want to learn, and if I can teach them, hell, why not, you know? I'm still kind of embarrassed, though. But, uh... Kind of feels good to do something for other people. <laughs> it's only because of what... It's only because of you that I could face up to who I am. Thank you very much. Kanji has a refreshing smile on his face. You feel a solid bond between you and Kanji. Are you going to say goodbye to the others later? Well, it ain't like this is the last time we'll see each other. Our friendship ain't just on the surface. Funny how we got the murder case to thank for that. We put an end to that stuff, right? Adachi's in the slammer and the fog is all cleared up. It's all thanks to you. Yo, senpai. When you go, don't turn back around, okay? See ya. Come to think of it, you have yet to say goodbye to Ko and Daisuke. Aya. You hear Daisuke and Ko's voices coming from inside the restaurant. Whoa! Hey. <laughs> what a coincidence. We were just talking about you. Why don't you join us, man? Well... You see, we started talking about whether or not all the crazy stuff that happened here was really over, and... We were consoling each other about you leaving tomorrow. Why you gotta blurt that stuff out? It's embarrassing, man. To be honest, though, I did want to see you one last time, but I figured you'd be too busy. The next thing I know, you walk right in. It's like, man, I was being thoughtful for nothing. <laughs> You shared a joyful moment with Ko and Daisuke. Oh, while you're here, let me tell you something. What's up? After I graduate, I think I'm going to go to college overseas. Not only does it sound like a blast, but I think they'll look good on my resume when I join the society, you know? I figure that it'll help out with the Ichijo family, too. Come on, you're not doing this for your family. I know. It's for my own sake. It's not for the family that took me in, or because I'm their first son. I want to support the family in my own way. I don't need to be in... Uh, I don't need to be the head in order to do that. That's why I think it, it'll be cool to study overseas. I'm sure I'll learn all kinds of things I couldn't overhear. <laughs> of course, Daisuke's gonna be a loner. Not really. No matter where in the world all of us are, it won't matter. Friends are still friends. Even when you can't see each other all the time. What? <sighs> Those were some touching words, man. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I had a hard time just thinking how to start this conversation. I was even thinking about hopping on the train. Common will be on tomorrow so I could tell him all about it. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Why don't we go get some ramen? Um, Common, you can come back and visit any time you want. This is your hometown now, too, you know. You feel a close bond between Ko, Daisuke, and yourself. I'm sure you've got other people to say your goodbyes to. We can see you off tomorrow, but, uh... We'll always be friends. We'll always be friends, too. Hey, don't steal my lines. I'm gonna make you eat pickled bamboo shoots. The fuck does that mean? There are others you share a close bond with. What has happened to Sayoko? Yeah, that's my question.
I was like, how am I gonna go meet Sayoko? Well, first... Welcome to... Hmm? Common. That's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Thanks for coming to see me before you leave. I'm very happy. I... I was thinking of spending today as just another day. Helping with the housework, taking a long bath, and going to sleep. So I can... I can say goodbye without crying. <laughs> But I failed miserably. I kept thinking about you. And on top of that, here you are, right in front of me. You're not helping at all, you know. You're so mean. And that's it. I'm leaving town with you tomorrow. What? <laughs> Just kidding. For now. You know... After I decided to stay here and become the manager, I realized how afraid I was. Whether I can meet all the responsibilities, whether I'll be able to support the whole staff on my own. I never thought of things like that. But I've made my decision. Now I have to make an honest attempt at it. I'll do my best to overcome the fear. And you'll be in my heart while I do. We'll be together, even when we're apart. I promise, I won't turn away from my problems and fears. I'm going to meet every challenge, head on, no matter how hard it seems. Remember what Amano Sagiri said? If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. It's not what I wish for. I'll face myself, no matter what happens. Thank you. You'll forever be my precious friend. Um, w uh, well, I should get back to work. I'll see you later. Inaba Municipal Hospital. You overhear two nurses talking. Have you heard about Uehara-san? They seem to be talking about Sayoko. She joined some volunteer organization and went to Africa. Africa? I never thought she'd be the kind of person who would go there. Well, she seemed to be taking her job really seriously towards the end of her time here. She even studied during break. Do you remember when we were talking about the rumors of the Midnight Channel? She wasn't interested at all. Oh, I remember those rumors. Not that I know where they started. But yeah, now that you mention it, Uehara-san was never around when we were chatting about them. She was studying some foreign language, wasn't she? She was trying to learn English and some African languages. She read a lot of medical books, too. I see. But why Africa? Why'd she join a volunteer organization? What's the point? I'd rather marry a guy, raise kids, and be an ordinary housewife. That's what I used to think too, but watching Uehara-san kind of made me feel different about it. She did seem uh, to have a boyfriend though. A very young one too. Oh, it must have been that kid who was working here part-time. <laughs> I don't know the details, but he seemed to really mean something to her. She once told me that she was trying to do her best to live up to him. Do her best, huh? I feel I have to try harder, too. Yeah. I'm starting to see where she was coming from. Let's go back to work and do our best. It seems that Sayoko is working hard in a foreign country. Even though Sayoko is gone, her life here has changed people for the better. 
You feel a close bond between Sayoko and yourself. You decided to go back to the town. Oh, I went to the... Yo! Sensei, I'm super duper happy that you uh, came to see me. I can't fucking do Teddy's voice. Going around saying goodbye, huh? What did you think of that sleepy, peaceful version of Inaba? Must seem weird to you. Huh. I wonder why it began just as you arrived here. I remember that first time Sensei and Yosuke braving the TV world alone. Boy, I feel so nostalgic. Yeah, ever since then, it was just one surprise after another. Hmm. Can't imagine how it's going to be like living here without you. A quiet, peaceful town with no need to use our personas anymore. I can't imagine it either. That's right. We were right in the middle of the case when you came over to this side. A lot of stuff's happened. Facing my true self... And you and me got into a fight, too. Yosuke, did you smack Sensei? Ooh, how reckless! Of course, moron. But friends gotta fight sometimes to be best friends. Why didn't you say so earlier? Sensei, bring it on! Let's fight! Don't hurt him, man. He's gotta get on the train tomorrow. Sensei, you're really leaving, huh? I'm glad I met you and Yosuke. You two completely changed my life. And Nana-chan, Yuki-chan, and the others too. They all helped me. Okay. They gave life to me. Life? Come on, man. You were the only one who wanted to change. That's why you tried so hard to make it happen. Thank you so much, Sensei and Yosuke. I love you. Love is kind of strong. I'll take off my outfit if you want. <laughs> Let's not. You feel a solid bond between you, Yosuke, and Teddy. By the way, is it okay for you to chill here? Don't you have somewhere to go? Like, meeting someone? Do you want Teddy to come with you? <sighs> no, I think Teddy has to work. It's spring break, but school is open to students today. Oh, senpai, do you have business at school too? Oh, that's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Saying goodbye to your teachers? Yeah, it's very kind of you. Well then, please excuse me. Well, actually, not really. Having a last look at the school, huh? Can I come with you? <sighs> the town has become so peaceful. Oh. Not that I'm disappointed. Well, it's just that for me to remain here without you or a case to solve, I feel somewhat listless. I know this sounds awkward since we've already discussed it before and came to a satisfactory conclusion. That the reason for me being here was nothing to do with the case. 
Perhaps it's just your departure that's making me lonely. I apologize. Sorry, I'm making trouble for you. I should apologize. Please don't. It's not your fault for moving home. I'm sure this is hardly the last time I'll face a situation such as this in life. I'll remain here in Inaba. Of course, from time to time, my services will be required elsewhere. But Inaba is my hometown now. I want to treasure the precious time I've spent with you, solving the case together. The Midnight Channel, Personas, Ameno Sagiri. My duty is to stay here and get to the bottom of these mysteries. To be honest, the thought of it makes me a bit lonely. Please don't forget your time here. You feel a solid bond between you and Naoto. I'll be at the station tomorrow with the others. So, this is our last chance to talk. Just the two of us. No, of course it won't be. I can go visit you anytime, and vice versa. Senpai... Don't you have other farewells to say? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. You have not spoken to everyone with whom you formed a strong bond yet. Right, Ayane. You hear a trombone being played. <sighs> Yasogami High Music Room. Ayane is playing her trombone. Oh, Senpai! C can you hold on for a second? This place is a mess. The band met to practice for their performance at the entrance ceremony coming up. I decided not to call you. I mean, I suppose there's not much point anyway. I thought so. You're leaving tomorrow, right? But anyway, isn't it great that all the fog is gone? I was worried that you'd leave with a bad impression of the town since it's been so foggy ever since you got here. I'm happy that it's bright and sunny on your last day. Hopefully, it won't be all foggy tomorrow. <laughs> Just kidding. I've got something I want to tell you, Senpai. After I graduate, I'm thinking about doing a study abroad program in music. The more I practice, the more fascinated with music I get. I was always trying to play better than I played before. But that's not what music is about. It's about how you express it. So I tried to express myself through music. But you know what I realized? I had no feelings to put into it. I couldn't stand it. But I meant it when I handed you that ticket. So I tried to face it head on, and I practiced it a lot. Then I started to understand that every day is a fight against yourself. People fight against the person we were yesterday to become a better person today. Ever since I realized that, I figured I'd be playing music for the rest of my life. Senpai, I'll probably be halfway around the world two years from now. I, I won't cry when you leave. It'll be like practicing for when I say goodbye to this place. We'll be separated, but... Senpai! My love for you won't change. My parents gave me their blessing when I told them I wanted to study abroad. They said I've been stubborn ever since I was born, and that 
Nothing could... Nothing they could say would change my mind anyway. <laughs> and here I was thinking I had no personality. I guess it's true that your parents know you best. Senpai, I wish you the best of luck over there. Please come see me and wish me luck when it's my turn to leave. <sighs> Ayane said her goodbye to you with a quiver in her voice. You feel a close bond between Ayane and yourself. Goodbye, Senpai. How are the goodbyes coming along? Did you see all your friends? Most of them. I see. Did they all cry? Let me see your face. You have a man's face. Sheesh. Kids sure grow up fast. I feel left behind. Tomorrow, you'll be leaving the nest, and sometime, someday, so will not Nanako. Hey, common. A house is a nest. Fate gives us a family, and we help each other out in life. Then the young leave and make their nests elsewhere, creating a new family. It goes on and on. To tell the truth, I don't know whether you enjoyed living here or not, but at the very least, you're making one hell of an exit. If you ever get tired, you can come back here. And I'll leave your room the way it is. Go on. You still have others to say goodbye to, right? Have you never seen Inaba when it's this peaceful? Or you've never seen Inaba when it's this peaceful, have you? The murders that happened just after you came. While you were here. Huh. Strange coincidence, to say the least. Well, get going. This was the last goodbye to those you truly have a bond with. You should return to your house to get ready for tomorrow. Yo. Well, this is it. You really are leaving, huh? It hasn't really hit me yet. No more senpai from t tomorrow on. <laughs> hey, quit crying. It's way too soon for that. But, but. <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, that stuff's kind of contagious, you know. We uh, we got to put on a good face for senpai. <sighs> it will be all right. We can see him again at any time, should we choose. The long holidays are coming up soon in May, so you better come back to visit. I've already reserved rooms at our inn. Let's have another sleepover. Wow, thinking way ahead, aren't you? This time, our surprise sneak attack won't fail! Hey, while I'm gone, can you guys, um, murder Teddy? Is it me, or is that guy getting more and more aggressive lately? Big hey, bro? What's up, Nanako? Uh, I don't want you to go away! Nanako... Didn't you promise that you wouldn't cry? Building a case against Adachi is going pretty smoothly. After all, he's made a full confession to his crimes. Hmm. There haven't been any more incidents since then. Inaba's finally back to its normal, peaceful self. 
and Nanako's better now too. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thanks for everything. To me, you're just as much a part of this family as Nanako. I'm really glad you came to stay with us. We'll always be here. Come back anytime you want. I'll be at Juness too. I'm gonna keep working there and living at Yosuke's place. At this rate, you'll be a full-time employee. Yeah. Reigning over the store as Juness's idol. Pretty cool, eh, baby? Hell no. Juness doesn't need an idol. <laughs> but, you know, I am a little worried about the other world. Yeah. That world still exists, even now. There is no longer anyone deliberately using it for evil, but we have no assurance that it won't happen again. If it does, Senpai, we'll expect your full cooperation. <laughs> now, Dokun! Don't even joke about that! It's almost time. You better get on the train. Dojima's like, what the fuck? Stop joking about that, you fucking weirdos. Other world. Pieces of shit. Come back anytime you want. We can eat ramen again. Me and Daisuke will definitely come crash at your place someday. I'll count on it. It's going to be lonely without you. Really lonely. But we'll meet again soon, right? Of course. Well, see ya. Good luck over there, too. If anything happens on your end, we'll come running. Until we meet again, Senpai. Senpai, I'll be waiting for you. See ya. Take care. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. I won't. Be careful. I'll see you, big bro. Bye-bye. What a fucking game. Honestly, that was fantastic. Bittersweet ending, I gotta say. But very fitting. I can see why so many people are so just in love with this franchise.
I wanted to save watching the anime for after I was finished with the game. So that I wouldn't be spoiled on anything. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Probably tomorrow. I don't know how long it is, but... I'm really looking forward to it. Really, everything about this game was so far beyond my expectations. I didn't really go into it knowing what to expect. But... I just know that it was well worth the time it took to play. Every bit of it. It's always a bit of a bittersweet feeling after you feel, after you feel, after you finish a game like this, you know, with such great characters and story, and it's like, well, what now, you know? You know, a lot of people, like, visualize pieces of a person as like puzzle pieces, you know, that fit together. Things they experience, things they see, things they feel connected together. Maybe this bittersweet feeling is the edge of the puzzle piece where another piece needs to connect And, well, if that's the case, then I look forward to it. Finding the next piece and putting it in place. This game will definitely stay with me for a while. If you load the data you save here, you start the game over.
carrying over certain attributes from your clear data. Uh, if you overwrite the original save, you will be unable to continue playing from that point in the game. All right. Oh, Jesus. I can't even begin to, uh, 114 hours. Almost 115. So, here's the thing. All this is going to be uploaded to YouTube. The whole playthrough. Uh, I've already started uploading it. And it's, I don't know, halfway done? Maybe a third done? So if you missed any part of it and you want to go back and watch it, I would say it would be worthwhile. No, I can't. It's copywritten. Uh, that's going to be all for me today. Jeez. Such a good game. I'm going to go eat dinner. Uh... I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later.